At uh, magandang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Ito na naman po nga uh, ang tops usapang sports para sa Huwebes ng umaga ng, uh, ng huling araw ng Setembre 2021. At uh, meron po tayong mga special guests for this evening. Ako po si Ernest Hernandez sa magiging moderator para sa usapan ngayon. At uh, para introduce ang ating mga panauhin, ipapasa ko po ang mikropono kay sa ating uh, sa presidente ng tabloid ng uh, tabloids organization in Philippine Sports na si Sir Ed Andaya. Sir Ed Ernest and again good morning to all of you and welcome to the 122nd edition of our Usapang Sports on Air presented by the Tabloids Organization in Philippine Sports and sponsored by the Philippine Sports Commission, the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, and the Games and Amusements Board. Uh, Ernest, this morning, uh, gaya ng mga nakaripas na editions natin, uh, mga champions itong mga guests natin, uh, mga medalists sa uh, Philippine Sports. Uh, of course, uh, bago natin sila... Tanungin sa mga kaganapan sa kanilang sports, uh, gusto kong uh, i-introduce ang ating uh, special guest, ang presidente ng Philippine Wrestling Federation, si Alvin Aguilar. Uh, kasama niya this morning ang ating mga timang kabataan na nag-uwi ng karangalan from the World Grappling Championships na dinanap sa Russia last month. Uh, Sir Alvin Aguilar, uh, welcome to TAPS. Uh, talagang uh, suki ka na namin dito ever since na nagsimula kami nun sa National Press Club and hanggang ngayon na nandito kami sa bagong uh, uh, platform. Uh, Sir Alvin, uh, maybe we can ask you for a few words and then siguro uh, introduce na rin yung mga limang champions natin from Russia. Okay, uh, magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Again, thank you for always having me over. We always really appreciate this. Uh, this morning, I'm with uh, our uh, our junior RP team members. We have uh, Joaquin Marte, David Zaldariaga, Fier Afan, uh, which is uh, Lucas Aguilar, and uh, who did I miss? And Abe Del Rosario, or Lord Gabriel. Delosario. Thank you, uh, Sir Albin. Uh, siguro, I'll start the questions no, na right away. No? Uh, dito sa nakalipas ng World Grappling Championships, uh, nakapag-uwi tayo ng uh, nine medals, no? uh, yes. including three silver medals. Uh, and we also finished uh, third overall dito sa isang prestigious uh, competition na ito sa, sa Russia. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, paano ba ang mga uh, aganapan na nangyari dun sa Russia and sino-sino yung mga nagka-medal sa atin? Well, uh, una una uh, we've trained for this uh, habang habang may ano uh, una una mahirap mag-train situation so ang ginawa namin, we just locked in. We have a private gym. We got the parents uh, okay for this. So natulog nila sila sa gym. Nobody in, nobody out. Every day sila nandun. At least yung online classes nila, uh, they, they had to fulfill their academic uh, requirements as well. So on top of that, uh, we would train every day. Uh, we would eat, train. Lang, yun lang ginawa. And then... Uh, we had a lot of challenges papunta ng, papunta ng Russia, but uh, just the month we were able to go to Russia. Uh, we were all, uh, of course, assisted by uh, Pagor, uh, of course, Kong Bambol. Um, you know, they were the per- people who helped us get there. And then uh, once we were there, ayun, uh, we had a lot of challenges. Um, I'll let the, the junior athletes also speak about that. <laughs> Yes, sir, Alvin. Uh, last time na uh, you were our guest, uh, nakakwento mo nga yung mga challenges na yan. Uh, Papunta pa lang kayo no? no? And uh, during that time, uh, busy rin ang ating mga 
sports officials sa paghahanda sa Tokyo Olympics. Ah, uh, yung sa sa Russia, uh, ilang days pa kayo nag-stay? Uh, ano yung mga health and safety protocols na na dinaanan ng ating mga athletes doon and kumusta yung naging uh, competition proper? Uh, sino ba yung mga nakalaban natin? Okay, uh, we were there um bago umalis uh Of course, before we entered the training area, our own training bubble, everybody was tested uh, before anyone, if anyone would leave uh, uh, the explicit uh, permission of their parents. So we were able to make this happen. Pagdating uh, sa Russia, of course, we had our own testing. Nakita lang kami sa Russia because I was in the Olympics also. So dun lang kami nakita. Uh, once you get to Russia, of course, before you... Upon uh, entry into the uh, into the, the dorm area, which is beside the competition area, of course, every again, everybody was tested, and then you know, nobody in, nobody out lang. Uh, just like in the Olympics, once you're there, you neon, di ka di ka makalabas. Pero iba din sa Russia. Eh. Sa Russia, wala na nakamaskara na tao. <laughs> Kami lang. <laughs> so talagang totally normal na yan sa Russia. As in, actually, para Uh, nagtanong-tanong din kami. For them, it was uh, parang flu lang. Of course, we didn't want to take that chance. Uh, nakamaskara pa rin kami. Hindi di kami yung di rin kami gumaya sa mga iba na walang mask. But then, yun. Uh, we had a very good reception pagdating sa Russia. Talagang pinaghandaan. Nagmukhang BTS nga yung team eh. Kasi pagdating yun, ang daming reporter. Talagang sumalubong sa amin. Kasi I think that was the first time may mga pinayata pumunta dun sa UFA, Russia. And uh, it was an excellent experience for our junior athletes. Uh, Sir Alvin, one more question bago ko tanongin yung mga atleta natin. No? Uh, nabanggit mo yung mga challenges na dinaanan ng team and well, nabanggit mo nga rin si Kong Bumble and Tagko, no? of course, na talagang tumulong sa team. Uh, uh, maybe this is a good opportunity for you na din uh, para pasalamatan yung mga talagang tumulong sa team. Uh, especially na talagang galing tayo sa pandemic o nasa pandemic tayo and yung mga challenges na dinaanan nyo talagang hindi basta-basta. Yes. Well, of course, we'd like to thank, first of all, the guidance and the support always from uh, our president, Kong Bambol. Um, you know, he's been supporting us ever since. And we go because of him, we're now in the golden age of sports, of Philippine sports. And of course, uh, Pagcor for helping us. And the coaches, grabbing sacrifice ng mga coaches dito. We had our Uh, of course, my better half, Coach Maybelin Masuda, Coach Michael Tabamo, uh, Coach Zoni, Coach, of course, Coach Lester, who, who brought all of these kids together. Talagang grabe yung guidance din niya uh, from uh, Deftak Marikina. He's the one, you know, who spearheaded a lot of these uh, kids' uh, careers. Um, who else did I miss? <laughs> well, that, that's, uh, and then and there, and of course, uh, the kids, their efforts... Now, grabbing effort na ginawa nila. Uh, it's very hard right now to balance academics because it's everything is online, and you know the sacrifices they went through para pumunta ron. Um, just to mention again, uh, these kids were not allowed to board sa what do you call that sa Qatar Airways. So imagine, kompleto ng papeles mo, bayad ka na, labang ka, tapos they say hindi ka pa yun sumakay. So 28 hours sila nakatambay sa <laughs> sa airport. Before they were allowed to fly, na 30 hours. Pagdating ng 30 hours, pagdating dun sa Russia, half a day rest, tapos laban na. Two days straight yun. And then they did really well in spite of all the setbacks. Actually, sanay na yung mga yan eh. Si Rafier also, sanay na rin yan matulog sa airport because this happened to us also in in uh, Kazakhstan. Two days naman yun, pinatulog sila sa airport. Pagdating ng, ng play area dun sa Kazakhstan, labang kagad. So, these things happen. And... Uh, You know, um, that's the reason why we train them extra hard because we also anticipate na may mangyari ganito, especially sa mga immigration and especially sa airport. And they did really, really well. Uh, thank you for the answers, no, Sir Albi, na madaya pa kami tatanang, especially dito sa darating na IMAD, no? But, but uh, for now, siguro, uh, let's give an opportunity dito sa mga atleta natin na uh, 
to share their experiences dito sa nakalipas na World Grappling Championships. Uh, maybe they can talk about their experience na, na talaga nakipag-compete sila sa mga magagaling na grappler sa ibang mundo. No? Uh, maybe I'll start with Gabriel uh, who won two silver medals. Uh, uh, si Gabriel is with us now, no, no, Sir Alvin. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, uh, Gabriel, Hello. can you... Uh, welcome to Tops, no, Gabriel. No? And dito sa nakalipas na World Grappling Championships, uh, can you tell us yung mga, mga challenges na dinaanan mo and the rest of the team uh, bago kayo na karating sa Russia and uh, during the competition proper? Okay, so una po yung, uh, yung training. Yung training po is, ano, so yung training bubble po namin sa Paranaque which is malayo po kung saan ako nakatira, sa Marikin na po ako. Tapos nag-travel po kami doon. Tapos yung dad ko po, nandito lang po siya sa Marikina. So nandun lang po ako mag-isa sa Paranaque. Pero nasama ko po naman po yung mga ka-team ko and si Coach Mike, yun din inaalalayan po kami. Parang siya, na, siya po yung naging tatay namin. So... So, then training lang po every day. So, umaga, hapon, training tuloy-tuloy. And we did our best para maging prepared dun sa laban. And then, yun, yung umalis nga po kami, nagkaroon ng problem sa sa ano sa airport. So, nandun lang kami naka-steady. Naka, ano, naka nandun kami na kumain. Nandun kami po nagpahinga. So, yun. And yung sa pagdating po namin ng Russia, para pong siyempre po, first time, actually first time po po yun sa ibang bansa. First time po po nakalabas ng ibang bansa kasi yung mga da- pass po na events, wala pa po ang passport. So, first time. So, first time po kinakabahan po ako todo. Like, na- naririnig ko lang yung heart ko. So, tapos, yun yung laban yung laban na po is ano parang natupad na yung dreams ko and din dinedicate ko po yung fight hindi lang po para sa sarili ko it, hindi hindi lang rin po para sa mga coaches at sa mga tumulong sa akin at mga teammates ko kundi para rin po sa buong Philippines kasi dala ko po yung name ng Philippines sa sa ano ko po, sa uniform, so, and sobrang laking honor po i-dadalin yung Philippines habang lumalaban ka. Okay, thank you, Gabriel. Uh, what about you, David? Uh, uh, you also won a silver medal dito sa World Grappling Championship. Okay. Uh, uh, What, what can you say about the, the competition do sa, sa Russia? Um, what I can say po is it's new for me because it's also the my first time that I went out of the country. Tapos, the competition was good. Like, the event was well organized. The only thing that we had to struggle with was, you know, the flights and stuff. Tapos, we uh, were stopped. We were... Okay, uh, kasama din natin ngayon si si Lucas, no? Uh, Lucas, uh, what about you? Uh, uh, kamusta yung experience uh, competing in Russia against the best in the world? Um, it was a very good experience for me. Like, it's my first time also um going um competing out of the country for wrestling and jiu-jitsu. But then, it was a very good experience. Like, we got to go against people stronger than us. Uh, and we got to go to Russia, which is a very nice country, and known as and they are known as like one of the best in wrestling and jiu-jitsu. Yeah. 
Uh, what about you, Wakina? Uh, ito din ba yung first time mo na to compete abroad uh, sa, sa Russia? Well, good morning. So thank you for having us on. Um, actually, this isn't my first time competing abroad in terms of being sports. Go, but for grappling, yes, it's my first time, especially in Russia, first time in Europe. Um, so I'm not necessarily... Uh, too foreign with that feeling because it's it's not like any other competition. It's it's it's, it's the world's but it's, it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. But uh, it's just important that I just had fun in the process. So I just I felt enjoy, enjoyed it. Now. Okay. Uh, uh, what about you, uh, Pierre? Uh, uh, what what can you say about your performance here to sa, sa Russia and yung mga nakalaban mo doon? Um, okay naman po, nag-enjoy naman po kami. Kasi like, we went there as a team. Tsaka mas maganda na po na yung pumunta kami prepared. Dahil di po gaya sa other pumps. Yun po. Tsaka nakaka, ano siya, open po ng new experiences. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, and again, uh, congratulations sa... Uh, sa naging performance niya rito sa World Grappling Championship sa sa Russia. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Ernest or Fred, uh, maybe may mga questions kayo uh, sa mga panauhin natin. Uh, ano actually Sir Ed ako muna siguro bago si Sir Fred no. Ano isa lang kay Boss Alvin. Na Sir Alvin, uh, for years no um Uh, Filipinos have been known as strikers, no? As as a fighter, no? At uh, etong uh, etong wrestling, uh, to be honest, I I interviewed a few wrestlers before, no? Meron silang stigma daw kung uh, parang pag sinabi nilang wrestler sila, ano ba daw yung tinatanong sa kanila kung ano yung costume nila, ano yung entrance music nila, mga ganon. No? How how you, looking at this generation of uh, uh, of of uh, our wrestlers? in our uh, in our uh, national team no? and uh, doing good in 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 their competition how do you see the future of wrestling and how will this help us uh, compete also no in in mixed martial arts maybe in the future okay uh, well i've always said before because uh, there's grappling is now under wrestling okay so Before it used to be the regular sports under the wrestling used to be freestyle Greco-Roman women's wrestling. Now they've added grappling. So we've always been one of the best in the world to grappling because we started we started this in the 90s, the same as everybody else. Um, I was fortunate to be able to train with the Gracie family and I brought the art here to the Philippines. So we've always been on that level. Uh, we've been in the same level just as anybody else, actually more advanced than a lot of people in the world. Our problem was, uh, of course, with all the politics here, a lot of our fighters were not able to, to uh, you know, to showcase their skills. But uh, that's all in the past. Now, now that we have grappling and soon to be in the Olympics, we have our we have our younger generation now. And another thing is, of course, for, aside from our grassroots movements and everything, um, you know, we have a very good program that's inclusive. We let everybody in. Basta, you're willing to put in the work, you know, you're willing to put in, you know, the time, the effort, and you train hard. Kami na bahala. Um, ang nagiging problem kasi is mahirap talaga ang wrestling, mahirap talaga ang grappling. And later on, even if magaling ka na, you know, grabe yung dadaanan nyo. If you'll ask the junior wrestlers what they had to go through to, you know, to win in the world stage, mahirap talaga. Now, Um, as for um, for the mixed martial arts program, one of the one of the problems sa mixed martial arts natin dito is because um, what do you call that? We have you know of course we have a lot of promotion, but the thing is, um, parang basketball kasi yun eh. Basketball una naglaro ka sa barangay, then like high school, then like college. After college, like PBL ka, then PBA. Ang nangyari sa atin is nagbarangay ka lang, tas later on gusto mo naging pro. Tapos nagtataka ka, after five wins sa pro, bakit ginugulpe ka sa international? So we started the, uh, we're now affiliated with EMAF, uh, which is the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, which will now, uh, it's just spearheading the thrust for mixed martial arts in the Olympics. So if, sa atin naman, it's PMAF. We're making it na, 
hinug na hinug ka na sa amateurs. Because if you look at everybody in the UFC, uh, nakaka-20 to 50 fights na sila as amateurs. Okay? Small tournaments or before they took the jump. So we're trying to make that happen here also. So that will be the next step, you know, in the next generation. Ang problem kasi sa atin dito also is the, um, there's two more problems. I just uh, say it real quick also. Is yung mga instructors dito ng mixed martial arts, ang gusto nila, sila nagtuturo ng boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, lahat. Eh, imbis na i-specialize. Because you cannot teach everything. So kailangan, kunyari, yung, yung studyante mo, kunyari boxing, paturo mo sa talagang boxer. Then later on, sa grappling, paturo mo sa totoong grappling. You're just there to guide and, you know, form the program. Hindi yung ikaw sa gra- wrestling, ikaw sa grappling, ikaw din sa, you know, there's a lot of things, so mahirap yun. And then the, the last part, of course, is, uh, you know, making sure that uh, the, the, the student or the fighter, um, nangyari kasi sa atin is, nakakatatlong laban, apat na laban, Alak, biglas lumaki ng ulo. <laughs> it's not like, uh, if you look at our amateur boxers here, talagang grabing dinaanan nila. Just like our pro boxers, yan, da, grabing dinaanan nila before they get there. So we have to do that also. Kailangan hinug na hinug sila dito before they take the next step. So that'll be the thing that we're changing right now. And uh, we will see a new wave of better MMA fighters, better grapplers, better wrestlers. And I promise I'll make that happen. Okay, thank you ver- very much, uh, Boss Alvin. Na si, ano na, si, uh, sunod na magtatanong si Sir Fred na siya ng uh, Manila Times. Hi, good morning, Fred. everyone. And morning, good morning, Alvin. Morning, morning, sir. Hi. Uh, na-mention mo yung push ng MMA sa Olympics. Uh, Asa na si Alvin? Na wala. Andiyan mo si Alvin? Yes, wala, yes. No? Ay, 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 wala. Kinain ay. ng ano, kinain ng... <laughs> ay, wala. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> anyway, na-mention mo yung push ng MMA sa, ano, sa Olympics. Ah, kamusta na yung ano niya? Uh, may chance ba? Kasi tulad ng skateboarding, ano na, walling, you know, breakdance. May chance ba itong MMA na pumasok sa Olympics? Okay. Uh, what happened dito sa MMA is, uh, of course, they were... Ano yan? Uh, the first the first step pa lang tinitingnan na kagad sila so uh, of course uh, a lot of the classic arts that are already inside the olympics syempre naiinggit yan ako mayayari tayo kung mag mma mawawala kami mawawala kami ng whatever so they had to push so our president Kenneth brown had to file a case against them for being selective kasi they did everything more than they were supposed to and still hindi pa sila nakapasok so that's what the stand is so wada sa lahat ng format ng competitions ng MMA it's ang sobrang dali like for example um for the kids in other arts like taekwondo boxing uh savat you're allowed to hit and kick the face diba nangyayari yon in MMA competitions uh for about 14 and under bawal sa muka and later on sa 15 you know there's so many rules na talagang uh, they really dumbed it down para lang makapasok lahat. Para walang masabi kahit sinong, you know, kahit sinong sports organization or not. Kasi it's also, panayakita nila, for example, MMA, MMA, okay. Nakita na, cage. Ako, nagpapatayan sila. Napakadelikado yan. And then of course, nakita mo si Conor McGregor. May ginugod. nag sila and everything. Siyempre, natatakotin yung mga tao. They might think it's a bad example also. But they don't know there's a very, very rich, uh, rich culture of, you know, hard work, training, perseverance, and discipline behind that. So hopefully, makapasok. Um, also, later on, we're hoping that we recognize din dito yung MMA. And then uh, we'll have a lot of uh, good kids going. So um, our, our kids right now, all of our kids actually also do MMA. So we, we've trained MMA. So maybe in the future, these guys will be the next ones also. But uh, for now, the goal is um, becoming world champions in grappling, wrestling, and then later on, uh, the rest will follow. Okay, uh, follow-up question ko lang dun sa unang tanong ko. Uh, how about sa Southeast Asian Games sa Asian Games? Pinupush niyo ba yung MMA? Okay. Um, the first the first step will be, yung, yung nga, the first step na ipit sila, but of course, as much as possible, we want it to be in sa Asia. So for example, sa Russia, India, grabbing MMA program. Um, 
they had more than 500 to eight, ano? We had more than 800 competitors. Competitors, ha? So, ang dami ng pagpipilihan. So, tayo dito, we have to step up and do that. Um, of course, as with anything dito sa Philippines, it's, it's very, very hard pag ginuumpisahan, you know. Uh, pag, das pag medyo sumisikat, people will try to bring you down, which is part of the process here all the time. But uh, okay lang yan. Dinaanan ko na yan lahat with, uh, with jiu-jitsu, with MMA before. Now, look, it's practiced mainstream. But now we have to do the next push. The next push right now is to actually have a program that prepares them, bata pa lang, to be on the world stage. Hindi na pwede yung makukuha mo sila... 25 years old. Sige, gusto ko na to gawin. Hindi pwede. Because everybody else has been doing it. Bata pa lang. So, which we've done for all of our kids here. Um, bata pa lang sila. Um, we've already started training them. They've already competed. Wala lang tumalo sa kanila dito. Even the international competitions we had in the Philippines, wala lang tumalo sa kanila. So, we really had to bring them abroad. Um, a lot of people were saying, Nako, bakit mo sila dinadala? Pandemic, may COVID, ang hirap-hirap ngayon. Um, I didn't want them, their youth to be stolen away from them. Kasi kung aantayin ko to lahat, five years, pagdating nun, butante na sila, hindi pa sila nakakalaban sa labas. Doon sa Russia, meron ba nag-positive for COVID? O wala naman? Wala naman, wala naman. Sa uh, Russia, uh, wala. Uh, wala naman. Um, a lot of them were tested kasi bago sila pumunta. Uh, we have a 48, there's a requirement that you have to have a 48-hour RT-PCR test before going to Russia. So, ako naman, I had to get my RT-PCR in Japan before going to Russia. So, doon kami nakita. And uh, once you're there, it's like I said, once you're there, you have to take another test bago makapasok talaga. So, talaga, we were really, really safe. And uh, again, it's diff- iba talaga yung culture doon eh. Sa Russia, talaga wala nakamask. Okay. Para sa kanila, COVID, ah, okay, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ano ang atmosphere doon sa ano? With regards to sports? Kasi pag napan- napapanood ko yung NFL, baseball, punong-puno na yung mga OGs, eh, mga fans. Yes. Nung nun, nandun ba sa Russia, uh, ganun din? May mga ganun din. Yung fans? At, uh, uh, yes. Huh? Okay, uh, actually, uh, we had a moderate audience. Kasi uh, usually ganun naman sa wrestling because um, we always have a moderate audience. It's only the world championships talagang punong-punong-puno, no? Um, pero sa labas, to, back to normal lahat. Uh, everybody's walking around. Papasok kami sa... Minsan na nagtataxi kami, yung driver, yun, dyan lang siya, walang mask. <laughs> dyan lang kami. Sige, pasok. <laughs> Ganun lang. Um, I think... Uh, well, I shouldn't be saying this, but uh, I think maybe we have to re-examine our policies about uh, sa mga COVID and everything. Because sa kanila... You know, may COVID nga, but they've, you know, they're living with it. And tuloy-tuloy, I mean, uh, you know, mga negosyo nila are keeping, are, you know, uh, the schools are open. Uh, the schools are open, businesses are open. And then may COVID, sige, we'll, we'll handle it. Hindi ka tulad natin na, uh, you know, we're not handling it really well. Tapos, wala na negosyo, grado pa yung school, mahirap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mataas pa rin yung kaso. <laughs> Kahit na ang dami restrictions. <laughs> anyway, uh, last question, uh, so Alvin. Uh, punta naman tayo sa Anna Wrestling Association of the Philippines. Uh, Kumusta yung mga programa ninyo ngayon uh, with regards to grassroots? I know it's pandemic, pero ano mga plans mo in the future? Okay, we, we will be launching uh, next month our free online classes for uh-huh. all, for everybody else. Kasi uh, here at uh, Wrestling Association of the Philippines, we believe that one of the key factors to beating this is keeping your body in shape. Everybody eventually will get COVID. Impossible na hindi. If you're going out, eventually you will get it. It's just like the common flu, the common cold. Everybody will eventually get it. What's important is you prepare your body for that eventuality. So if you or if you know, kung nyanis sa bahay ka lang all day, eventually may pupunta dun eh, di ba? Impossible. Someone has to go there to give you food or whatever. So eventually, we believe that everybody will get this. It's impossible na hindi especially with how it's going right now. So we believe that you have to be in shape, prepare your body for this. And of course, we get to you know examine and uh, but just promote promote our uh, you know wrestling around the country. So this will be free. And then from there, we will see who works hard. And then, of course, this is in coordination also with our wrestling clubs all over the country. Para tuloy, tuloy lang. Um, right now, we cannot force people to go to the gym and train. We were just lucky that the parents of all of our, our, our players were also 
um, competitors as well, and they didn't want their kids' youth stolen from them. So we're hoping that uh, our online programs can keep up. And then we're, right now we're waiting for our um, our bubble training in La Union, our official bubble training in La Union, because there are a lot of competitions next year. We have the IMAG, the Asian Games, the Sea Games. Uh, we have to do really, really well. Again, like I said, we're entering the golden age of Philippine sports. We want to be part of the train. Okay. Ay, ito bang team na to, na vaccinate na? Or not yet? Not all of them? Uh, all of the seniors are vaccinated, but uh, the kids have not been vaccinated. I see. Uh, I'd like to ask the kids the one. Thank you, Alvin. Uh, Thank you, sir. Kids, uh, uh, isa isa. Uh, gusto kong curious lang kasi ako, bakit napili niyong pumasok sa, ano, sa wrestling? So, ano yung motivate sa inyo? na pasukin yung sport na to kung pwede isa-isa Alvin, can you assist kung sino pwede maunang sumagot Okay, so Joaquin, you can start it off uh. Okay, so I decided to enter into wrestling and grappling uh. because I, I found it interesting because uh, the common notion people have with uh, you do martial arts or something that is it's striking right? so they think more on punching more on uh, kicking and I just found it interesting because I have a background in Taekwondo also. But I found it interesting, uh, the ground aspect. And, uh, you know, the, the concept that you don't necessarily have, have to be big and strong. Uh, hey, thank you, Joaquin. Welcome, Paul. Ah, no. Next, uh, excuse me, David naman. Let's go, Dave. Uh, what's the question po? <laughs> no, why did <laughs> you think that? Why did you pick up wrestling as a sport? What did you think that you picked up the sport? Na to? Um, I chose uh, wrestling grappling for the uh, purpose that, you know, that I'm small, uh, so when it comes to grappling, I'm more comfortable with it because it's really a gentle martial art that I, you know, even if you're small, once you study, you learn grappling, you can go against you know, bigger people once you get the technique. Same. Thank you. Next, uh, Lucas. Um. So I started wrestling at or jiu-jitsu at a young age because of my dad. But then, as I grew up, um, I realized that not only does it keep my body fit, it also keeps keeps me disciplined. Like, every day we wake up, we, we train right away. And this this discipline doesn't only apply in the competitions, it also applies for, like, real life. Were you pressured by your dad? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, I wasn't pressured by my dad, but then he he pushed me to uh he pushed me to my limits. That that really made made uh gave me a, like a big impact on the way I train and the way I compete. And yeah, I'm very thankful for him to be my coach also. Thank you, uh, Sophia. Uh, for me, it's the brotherhood and the family. Kasi mas marami ako nakikilala on the way. Lalo na pag like, sa mga team na mag-training kami, doon ko mas na-enjoy. At doon ako mas naka-interesado. Dahil doon sa team. Uh, thank you, Fear. And the one from Marikina, ano name mo? Saka sa Marikina? Sa ano po? Sa Lumpang. Ah, Lumpang. No. Ano name mo ulit? Well, di ko kasi nakikita sa ano. Gabriel po. Ah, uh, Gabriel. Uh, uh, can you, ano? Uh, okay, kwento mo sa amin, oh, paano ka nag-start? Start po niya ni Bies, ano, two years old po, nag-train po kami na dahil ko lang, ako lang po yung dahil ko. Ang first, ang first. Ang striking, mga striking partner. It's tapos, yung lumating po yung time na nagpatawag po si Bies ng mga enemy sa buong Philippines. Tapos pumunta po yung dahil po sa para niya kay sa pang-anabis. Okay. Tapos, nakilala po niya si Chief. Tapos, yun. Um, introduce po si Chief kay Dan. 
wala pang chapter ng Death Talk Gives to the Death Talk Repair Gives to the Ano ba yung ka, nawawala yung sound mo, yung audio mo. Sorry. Ayan. So, yun po, yung nagpatawag po sa team na, na mga MMA teams. Ang um, punta po kami sa mga MMA teams. Ang sinipin po ako sa mga Thank you, thank you, Gab. Alvin, may grappling basta si games? Um, actually, last time, we were supposed to have grappling. Uh, of course, there were some uh, things that happened in between, so nawala. We would have gotten uh, more than uh, two golds. We would have gotten 15 golds for sure. But uh, yun nga, um, uh, these things happen. But uh, sa next, uh, sa mga politics, politics, but then sa next... Uh, we'll see what happens. I think dun, Philippines will dominate that. Impossible time matalo. Thank you very much, Alvin. It'll be their fault talaga kung matalo sila. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll give the floor to the others naman para siguro ito like ang uh, invention next year. Ernest, back to you. Okay, um, okay balik ko yung... Uh, ano, Thank you, Sir Fred, dun sa mga tanong nyo. Ang uh, susunod pong magtatanong si Sir Ron de los Reyes. Sir Ron, nandiyan na kayo? Kung wala pa... Yes, uh, yes. Huh? Andito na, andito na. Okay, thank you, Sir Ron. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning sa ating uh, mga guests, no? Uh, okay, Alvin, uli siguro. Uh, kasi uh, one time or two times naging guest ko sa uh, radio program sa Radio 5, maybe two years ago. Uh, since then, uh, Alvin, uh, parang ang laki na nang in-improve, no? ng ating uh, mga athletes. Ano? Where would you attribute uh, uh, these uh, improvements among our, uh, among our athletes, um, both men and women? Okay. Well, uh, I would attribute that to the hard work they place in. Um, what we do is we make sure that uh, they're given the best training that they can get given the circumstances and then uh basically all out tayo it's not uh a, you know we we think that everything you do off the mat is part of training so the way you eat the way you have relationships the way you sleep lahat yan is factored in mm-hmm. um we have to consider all of that kung ano kalagay niya sa buhay kasi yung ibang tao it's very easy to say okay you train hard, you do this very, very well para sa bayan. Pero ang reality niyan is, bago para sa bayan, he has to take care of his family first. He has to take care of his himself. And then bayan after. So we have to factor in all of these before you know we can actually expect the best. Even all of these kids right now, they have so many things going on. Uh, si Joaquin is a leader of... Uh, of the grappling and jiu-jitsu organization in La Salle, you know, he's a very, he's a good student. Um, si Fier is a scholar. Si Dave does very well in school. Si Luki is part of the, the team. So there's a lot of things that they have, uh, soccer team, they have to balance so many things. And then we have to make sure that they can balance it all and they're given the best training environment ever. So ganun din sa senior stamin, uh, you know, a lot of them have, you know, they're also part of the military. They, they have their own families. So we just have to make sure we balance everything and give them the best training environment. The coach has to be learning themselves. Hindi pwede yung coach na ako, alam ko na yan. before sa wrestling na... Medyo nag-chappy, ah. Chappy. Okay, I don't know kung maayos na yung signal ni uh, 
ni Alvin ano. Uh, you're saying even the coaches uh, have to undergo their own uh, training and uh, need not uh, depend on what they know already. Wala, no? Wala. Okay. Sige, maybe balik na lang tayo mamaya kay uh, Sir Alvin. Lang. We have to be able to measure. Ah, yan, yan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got uh, yeah, we some have to be... of your points. Yeah, I got some of your points. My next okay, question so... is, uh, grappling is a sport uh, which is still not yet uh, popular in, in the Philippines. And uh, uh, where do you get all the support uh, that you're, you're getting uh, right now? And, uh, and uh, do the boys or the athletes uh, get a lot of support from their parents. Ika nga eh, NSDB, nasa daddy ang bayad <laughs> para sa mga expenses. <laughs> okay, uh, for the expenses, uh, we're primarily self-funded. We have our gyms that help us. We, you know, we have, we, we pool our funds. Um, but then we were happy that, of course, uh, Pagcor also helped us. And uh, of course, we can never forget Kong Bumble is always, always helping and supporting our team. Um, we weren't able to get uh, any funding from PSC, but uh, I, I, you know, we understand because they are junior athletes. Um, and of course, there's a pandemic. But uh, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to uh, get more support. Okay, so because these kids can be, you know, getting so many medals for the country. So, and dame. Uh, they just need to be given a little bit more uh, support. Because, you know, the if you're self-funded, ka lang eh. just bringing them to Russia, that's already a million. Na yan. So, and, uh, you know, when they win, the only ROI there is the medals that we can give the country. But mm-hmm. then for other people, they, you know, they expect something back or, you know, so it's going to be very hard to be self-funded or... <laughs> Yes, uh, Alvin. Uh, did I get it right that uh, you your competition was uh, held in in Russia? I think I read it somewhere uh, also. That was in Russia. Yes, sir, Russia. Uh, Russia. Okay. Okay. Uh, I understand that uh, the uh, cases of the virus uh, still high. In, in Russia, in fact, Russia is one of the countries that have uh, uh, some of the highest uh, cases. So what uh, protocols did you observe uh, during the competition? Uh, were you also in bubble? Uh, and uh, I, I suppose uh, you were not able to go around uh, the country. I mean, uh, at least in the city where the competition was held. Yes. When we were in Ufa, Russia, we were just uh, confined to the quarters and the competition area. We weren't allowed to go around. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, they had a lot of uh, strict safety protocols that for us. But uh, if you look outside Russia, wala na mask. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, for them, uh, life is totally normal. I think also because the healthcare system is a little bit better there. Um, and then the, the attitude of, of most of the Russians I spoke to, even the doctors... Ah, COVID, yeah, okay. Parang, parang sa kanila, parang lagnat lang yan, flu lang yan. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, I'm sure we about... Oh, wala ulit tayo. COVID. Yeah, can you repeat the, the last uh, statement you made? Uh, I'm, you, you mentioned about uh, the, the healthcare uh, system uh, being uh, very good in, in Russia. And people are not yeah. required to wear masks. Uh, and they have a you know a nonchalant attitude about uh, COVID. It, it's no problem for them. If you talk to them, you know they're like, well, okay, COVID. And then later on, pag may picture taking na sa iba, okay, let's put a mask because people might say something. But <laughs> uh, every day, the whole day, wala na Um Every day, the whole day, wala nakamaskara. 
and then uh, you know in the airport parang talagang wala you go outside sa mga malls sa streets totally wala na kamaskara and then i was just happy na although nakamaskara kami na we didn't have to wear the face shields <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay uh, when you got home when you got back to manila were you required also to uh, go on a hotel uh, quarantine for 7 or so days yes so you were in quarantine uh, upon arrival, and then uh, as soon as we got home, they, yes, they gave us a. We had to ride a, 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 um, just we rented a van from the from the airport, and then the what? airport brought us straight to our quarantine hotel, which is okay. U Hotels Makati. They took very very good care of us. Mm -hmm. So wow. Uh, so the, how big? How big was, was your delegation? How many people? Uh, one, okay, we had five, nine, six, ten. seven, ten. Nine, ten. No, there's, yeah, there's nine of us. Mm -hmm. Nine, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Albin. And uh, well, I'd like to ask also, what is your next uh, tournament? And when? of the PSC because oh, no, 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 no. seniors no one. Uh, last time we got third and fifth place in the world out of 46 countries so we're hoping this year, this year we can become world champion all right yeah thank you very much thank you Albin and uh, more power Back to you, Ernest. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, uh, Sir uh, Sir Ron. Uh, ang sunod po magtatanong si Sir Gerard. Gerard, nandiyan ka na? Gerard? Hello, yun. Yun, okay. Okay, hello. Yan, okay. Good morning po sa lahat. Good morning, guys. Good morning po. Uh, good morning po, Sir Alvin. Good morning po. Thanks. Medyo choppy yung ating uh, signal. Apo, uh, sir, magtatanong muna ako sa mga key dogs na, sa mga tropa na ito, mga kaidaran ko. Sa mga kaidaran ko, mga teenagers. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, Sir Alvin, pag-guide na lang po pag, ano, para kung sino pong sasagot. Ayan. Uh, guys, uh, ano parang... Uh, what are the difference, guys, dun sa, ano, sa foreign wrestlers or grapplers uh, against uh, the Filipinos? Do you think uh, uh, nakakuha kayo? Do you, do you learn uh, some uh, techniques or how to improve your performance in international competitions? Oh, okay. Ayun, okay. Uh, fair, come on, fair. Ano po yung question? Ayun. Ano yung mga natutunan mo? Uh, ano, yung, ano yung difference ng uh, foreign na uh, wrestlers or grapplers against Filipinos? And do you think uh, ano yung mga uh, natutunan mo to improve uh, your performance in your next uh, international competition? Uh, ano po? So, mas ano po talaga siya? Parang mas alaga po talaga siya. So, kailangan lamangan po namin sila ng kahit saan. Yun po yung isa sa mga natutunan ko, sir. Tsaka, parang, mas ano siya, mas ano sila dun eh. Parang, kung mga kami, mga mga student, kailangan namin manage time nila. Sila, pwede sila mag-training araw-araw ng walang ano, walang, parang walang ano, responsibility at training lang sila ng training. Hindi gaya sa amin. Kaya parang kailangan namin mas doble yung training namin kasi sila, mas lamang sila sa training. Mm. Okay, I see. Coach, sino pong next coach? Uh, si Joaquin, yan. Yeah, si Joaquin. Para medyo senior sa kanila. Um... In terms of uh, ano, the difference between Filipinos and how they you know, 
they're it's not actually that different per se. I wouldn't say that it's 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 something that's jarring or like drastically uh, uh, different. Um, we really just have to adjust our gameplay for bigger opponents because uh, physically they're just larger. And built the like, uh, Russians is just larger, and uh, the way they play, they're just very aggressive. You know, they're I know, but in terms of technicalities and um, uh, techniques, I think we're definitely. Uh, one of the best, better ones from, from the ones you joined. So, yeah, I, I think there's there's always room for improvement, but I think the competition there wasn't really that surprising, I would like to say. And also, Coach, I'm not going to I'm 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 Ah, si 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 ba si David or si Lucas sino pa nga nasasagot? Para Oh, Lucky, go. Yeah, si Lucky. Oh. Um, so, when we fought them, like for me, I mostly felt strength. I mean, like Wokin's right, like if we if we would compare through um technique, we're we're more we're more like advanced, especially we have a coach that's a black belt. When we saw their coaches, they were usually like um Brown belt, purple belt, yeah. And uh, besides that, when we go there, they have scouts, they have their own chef, they have their own masa- uh, masseuse. Um, they they have more support than us. Then and yeah, uh, like I want, I would continue what uh, Joaquin said. Like we just, we just have to train more and. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Okay. Last two, si, ano, si, 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 I'm in Ililo po. Ay, ay, ay. Yun. Ilunggo, ilunggo pala ito. Okay. Sige, ano, sagot ka, brother. Uh, ano, um, what's your, ano, side dun sa question? Um, what I can say is, uh, tama naman sila, Lucas and Wax, that uh, when it comes to the Filipinos, we have more technique because Chief is the one teaching us uh, the techniques and when you look at the other black belts there in the arena, Chief is the only one, like, the higher degree black belt. So he has, like, more knowledge. So that's why when he teaches us, we're, like, uh, we trust our technique that it will work because, you know, we got coached well. Talaga ang coach, anong talaga, ang malaking difference lang talaga sa, sa atin, yung visit natin, ha? against uh, other countries talaga no? pero in terms of technique talaga and ano uh, and hello wala iba talaga yung Albi Aguilar eh, no talagang uh, from world class talaga yung uh, galing uh, wala wala akong masabi kay Sir Chief eh talaga mag- magaling talaga eh so yon um, next question uh, guys again sa inyo ulit uh, how long or how how far are you willing to commit to your sport sa, since you all started playing at a young age? Kasi, syempre, bata pa kayo eh. Sa tingin nyo, gano'ng katagal yung ilalaro nyo pa sa sa sport ninyo? Are you willing to commit na maging full-time national team or just for fun? Or uh, gano'ng ka, gano kahaba, gano'ng katagal, guys? Uh, 
I mean, in terms of training and everything, I, I think as, as long as I can move, I will be training because it's, it's more than just a, a sport for me. It's, it's my passion. It's something that I find enjoyable and it's something that I would, I see myself doing as a stress reliever or just some form of exercise. I am. So, yeah, but in terms of competitively and as a, as a professional, um, it, it's an opportunity that I, it's, it's, it's a, it's a option that I could see, um, uh, alongside my other, I know, but uh, I'm not dead set competing. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm old. So, but as a sport, I will continue. I will definitely be continuing uh, training and practicing uh, all the martial arts because I find it uh, enjoyable and it's 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 one of my passions. See, Joaquin's gonna be a doctor also soon. Being doctor, hmm. yan, like his father. It's like his father, no? Talagang, ano, no? His father's a very good doctor. <laughs> Ay siyan, Katman na, Katman na, sarili pa niyang sugat ang gagamutin niya habang nang lumalaban. <laughs> May interest niya. <laughs> ikaw na rin yun. No? Ikaw na rin, kuku, ikaw na rin magsas, ano, sa mukha mo na kung sakali may tama ka talaga. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, guys, uh, sino pa? Oh, Sin- sino, sino pang mga willing magtagal sa sport niyo? And then talagang oh. mag, uh, magkocommit. Ay, sa so David, eto si, uh, si ano? Sino pa ba? Ito si David kasi gold medalist to sa ano eh. Oh, nag-gold to ng tournament eh. So, siya tanongin natin kasi. Oh, ayan. Uh, I didn't get gold po. I got silver. Ay, Lord, si Lord pala. Si Lord. Sorry, sorry. Si Lord ba? Si Lord, tama? Or si Abe. Si Abe. 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 Hindi po ang naka-gold. Abe. 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 Sino ba nag-gold sa inyo? Nung ano, nakaraan competition. Si... Actually, wala naka-gold, pero si Abe Silver. won sa final. Si ah, Silver na, na nag-tap yung kalaban niya. Yung nag-tap pero hindi, yung dapat hindi pa- na, ano eh. Hindi na mafia tayo dun eh. <laughs> Ayun, ah, dapat panalo ng gold, pero oh, hindi oh, na Nasa video ano. naman, ano, nag-tap yung kalaban niya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Wala tayong magagawa, nasa ibang bansa tayo, kaya talagang <laughs> oh, wala yung choice. Hindi tayo siga dun eh. <laughs> <laughs> Kung um, ano yun, top yun. Gusto yes. so, ko lang pong ilagdag yun yung kasi hindi po ako natawag sa, ano, sa yung pinagkaiba ng Russians and Philippines or yung mga ibang country versus ano, sa athletes or sa kailangan gawin ng mga Filipino athletes. So yung first po is ano, yung una is yung athletes po, yung coach naman po ng Russians and As, I mean, lahat po ng coach ng mga athletes, mga galing naman po, friend. Siyempre po, coach po namin si Chief. So, sobrang galing po niyan. So, so yung technique po namin, parang mas magaling po sa kanila. But yung problem po is yung mga ibang athletes. So, kulang po, ng, kulang po sila ng, ano, ng perseverance and ng work ethic. Yung mga iba pong athletes ng Philippines. So, Kahit po magaling yung coach mo and magaling yung gumagayit po sa'yo kung ayaw mo po mag-improve. So, ganun po yung pinagaya po po ng Russians. Sila po, um, sobrang kita ko po yung work ethic nila, lalo na po yung, ano, yung meron po kaming nakasama si um, friend po siya ni Chief Bresner. Like, so, yung time po niya, um, talaga po na-manage na, sobrang bilis niya po maglakad para hindi masayang yung time niya. Tapos, sobrang bilis po niya maglakad, kailangan po namin tumakbo para mga sumusunod sa kanya. Tapos po, sa ibang bansa, um, yung mga school din po doon, um, most of the school po, sinusupport yung sports and meron silang establishment sa school na nagagawa nila yung sports nila. Hindi po, kagaya sa Philippines, um, ano lang, um, kanyari po yung mga sikat na university lang yung nakapag-support and nakapag-bury ng facilities on lahat ng school mo. Ayun. Uh, coach, uh, gaya nung sinabi ni, ano, ano ba pangalan ni, ano, ag- Bro, ano ang pangalan mo? Abe. Si Lord. Lord Gabriel. Abe. Abe. Yung Lord Gabriel, okay. Yung sinabi ni Lord, uh, regarding dun sa sa support na nakukuha ng uh, mga athletes, 
uh, in terms of ano uh, yun nga, in terms of support sa tingin niya ba ano bang pwedeng nating maano masabi sa mga may meron ba kayong uh, uh, pwedeng sabihin sa mga ibang universities or sa uh, schools na mas pagtuunan ng pansin tong sport ninyo kasi talagang uh, mas kung medal lang ang pag-uusapan talagang marami kayong maibibigay iko kung iko compare natin sa ibang sports na sabihin natin na mas mar, mas magastos mas maano pero itong sports nyo mas maganda mas marami maibibigay na medal anong pwede yung parang masabi nyo di, with regards dito coach coach Alvin Okay, well, uh, for all other universities out there, uh, what do you call it? Hindi lang basketball yung sport natin sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Kasi ang nangyayari, pag basketball, oh, sige, excuse ka na, okay ka na, kahit di ka na mag-aaral, basta basketball player ka, dinano ko naman yan eh, also, di ba? Um, uh, I've seen, uh, basta nagba-basketball, okay na. Uh, I was also, I played for the UAP also as a baseball player. Nakita ko yun, ang laki ng difference talaga. Pag nanalo ka sa UAP baseball, okay, magiinom man lang kayo. Pag nanalo ka sa UAP, may Hong Kong pa kayo kung saan saan ka pa kayo nakapunta, <laughs> di ba? Uh, uh, Naiintindihan you know, kita, okay. <laughs> so, um, dito sa, 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 sa combat sports, this is, this is where the Philippines will really excel. Uh, all Filipinos are born fighters. All we need is the proper support. Uh, proper guidance and then we will always always excel so like this in Sabian so sana for example like the universities out of all of the schools of our of our teammates only Dave got real support kasi yung kay Dave talagang binigyan siya ng leave pinayagan siya yung the rest hindi o oh, absent ka dito nako yari ka mag makeup ka yari ka papagalitan ka pa na nagpa-practice ka uh, you know there's so many things out of all of the schools only Dave's school helped and uh Ateneo pa yon, Hindi pa lasal. Kahit mas magaling ang lasal. So... Ay, aray ko. <laughs> Nagkakalangan. Meron pa ang difference pa hanggang ngayon. <laughs> Blue and green pa rin. Ay, ikaw ay. Coach, ha? Bias ka. <laughs> no, but seriously. Ateneo, Ateneo is the only school that, that really talaga grabe yung support nila kay Dave. Ay, yung sa amin, talagang pahirapan talaga. It was very, very hard. We were only given, ex- they were only given excuse absences nung sa compis mo. Yung the week before or one, one or two weeks before, wala. But if that was basketball, pupunta silang ibang sport, uh, ibang bansa, ah, no problem, okay yan, excused ka. So we have to have a balance for everything. Um, I think it's more of exposure, uh, letting the the other school administrations uh, understand that there's more sports. It's not just basketball. There's so many other sports, and we have to give the equal opportunities to all of the other student athletes in other sports as well. Aba, napaka ano nun? Sana sana may may nakikinig na ano mga sports official no, talo na sa school kasi si Wakin alam ko hindi ka pa binibigyan ng Wakin ng ibon ang binigay na support na Wakin sa yung ano ang yung Sabi na natin yung lasal ano, walang binigay sa iyo. <laughs> Ang lasal uh, ng school mo. Ang so okay. Yan. Si Wax ito, ano to eh. Yeah, they, they were gracious enough to excuse me for the duration of the tournament and help me catching up with some of my missed lessons though. Yeah. So I I'm thank you for my teachers and some of my ano, for being considerate enough to parang help me ano na. To help me, uh, or guide me, in terms of. Uh, uh, fear, baka you want to fear, kasi di ba fear scholar ka? Hmm. Uh, ano pa nito? Fear. Scholar, ah. Uh. Scholar to si fear. Is a USD so. po. Okay naman po kasi yung inabsent ko lang po naman orientation na. Kaya okay lang. Saan ka nag-aaral? Saan ka nag-aaral? Spear? USD San? po. USD. Oh! Anong high school ka pa lang ba? Senior high? Senior po. Senior high. Ah, buti hindi ka nag-sport doon. Ako na nag-recruit no? sa mga ugali. Okay. So yun. <laughs> buti hindi ka nag-sport. <laughs> buti hindi ka nag-sport doon. Meron po ang sport doon, judo po. Ah, coach po si ano. Ah, ah, 
Okay. Matagal hindi tayo nakikita kasi matagal pa nga no. Matagal pa yung up niyo. So yun, <laughs> wala pa tayong ano, training. So yun coach, maiba lang ako, maiba ako, ma-ship ako ng ibang tanong. With, ano naman with regards to man sa wrestling. Uh, coach, kamusta yung ay mag natin? Ilan yung ipapadala natin? Uh, meron ba kayong uh, plans? Kasi syempre sinabi ni Kong Bumble na yung ipapadala sa IMAG, eh, magre-represent din ng country in Asian Games, uh, which yes. is ma- malak- malaking, ano eh, ma- mabigat na, ano yun, na parang, hindi, natin, ma- hindi naman daw nila sinasabing parang, anong tawag doon, uh, daan yon para makapasok sa Asian Games. Pero syempre, malaking pressure yun sa mga artists natin. Ilan yung balak niyo yung padala sa IMAG, sir? Tsaka ano yung chances natin? Okay, we have, uh, okay, sa Asia, that's where the best, Uh, wrestlers are especially sa Asia we have Russia we have Mongolia Japan if you saw Japan's performance last Olympics may magkapatid pa na babae that parehong naka gold after nag gold yung isa after another one hour nag gold din yung yung kapatid niya so yeah, magaganda Cisco, ng mga uta, ano, siblings ah, uta yes, siblings yes. so uh, we do call ang we're up against the best in the world there in Russia so I'm oh, sorry in uh, in IMAG in Thailand So of course, si Kapi natin mag- magkaroon ng medals. We have uh, we we're gonna have the entry of uh, two films also. We'll be helping our uh, us as well. Ang ano lang naman sa atin is as long as we get uh, good training, uh, we'll always perform. Hopefully, ma approve na yung training bubble namin, and uh, you know, because we're really wasting time. Even with the training bubble, we're we're behind. We're always behind. Because the other teams. The other teams have the, the other teams have uh, for for one national athlete they have at least eight sparring partners. Eh, sa atin we are all, we only have 27 athletes. Iba ibang weight division, iba ibang uh, event. So can you just imagine pa paning sparring? So we're having a very hard time uh, balance things. Because for example, atong Vietnam for example, they have more than uh, 200 people. Na naka payroll. So, ang dami mong training partners. There's Team A, B, C, D. E tayo nga, in the Philippines, hindi tayo makabuo ng Team A. Wala nga tayong complete lineup eh. So, every time we train, iba talaga. So, it's one person, one person. Tapos yung malalaki, sometimes have to spar with maliliit. But just for specific drills. So, we have to be creative with what we have. So, these are our challenges. So, I'm hoping that uh, ma-approve yung uh, international training natin so we have more training partners. And then, uh, in terms of you know the athletes' dedication, commitment, wala naman, wala naman problem jan eh. We just need uh, uh, again just a little bit more support, okay? Uh, and I understand you know pandemic, we're a third world country, ganon talaga. So ginagawa I mean, we do what we can, de ba? Uh, we I'm not exactly complaining. I'm just saying the reality of it. So we'll do well sa IMAG. We marami naman tayong bronze medals doon sa silver last time. So we're hoping naman na. Maka, we, we repeat the same effort. Mga ilan po yung ipapadala niya sa IMAG? Mga ilan yung delegation? We have, we have about eight, uh, eight wrestlers who will be going there. And uh, we, we, have, we have the number four uh, in the U.S. Uh, sa female wrestling, so women's wrestling, who will be representing us also as well. Inaayos lang namin yung passport niya. But when she gets there, I'm, I'm sure she'll do really well. And then, of course, we have uh, si Jason Baucas, si Noel Norada, our gold medalist sa SEA Games. Yung mga yan, as long as they're given the proper, you know, the, yung pukpuk sila with maraming training partners, they will really, really excel. Coach, pwede mahingi yung name nung ano, taga-US? Filam to? Tama? Yes. Her name is Ariane There you go. Ariana Grande. Andiyan dyan ko. Carpio. Ariana Carpio. Oo nga eh. Naging singer. <laughs> singer si Ariana Grande. Yes. Sir, na- hindi kita marinig, sir. Ayan, okay. Thank you po. Okay na po. Sulitin ko na kasi may iba pang magtatanong po eh. Last question ka po. Coach, with regards naman sa ano, kasi kahapon yung 
Nag- natapos po yung ano kahapon, nagkaroon po ng uh, summit, yung professional summit, uh, ang GAB. So, kamusta po ang MMA sa Pilipinas? Kamusta po ang ang URCC? Meron po ba tayong events? Meron po ba tayong uh, anything na bago? Na okay. Uh, sa URCC, we're hoping to have an event in November. Ang problem kasi is, uh, nadala na ako, nag announce ako, biglang, oh, hindi pwede. So nakatakot. Imagine, mag down payment ka sa venue, sa sa mga, you know, sa production, tapos biglang pagdating ng malapit na yung event, ako, wala na naman. So hopefully, November, we'll be able to start. And then, uh, of course, sa Game and Amusement Board, of course, we're under the excellent leadership also of uh, si, uh, si Chairman Baha Mitra. Um, he's always supporting us sa MMA. He's always trying to make sure na magkaroon kami ng events. Ang problem is talaga, yung classification lagi nagbabago. So, mahirap yung magpapa-event ka bilang, oh, hindi na pwede, bilang magkaka-surge, magkaka-delta. And of course, alam natin, di lang delta yan. May lambda, may hanggang letter Z pa yan eh. So, ang daming variant yan. So, we're hoping yung Zumba, for November. Yung Zumba. Ayun. <laughs> yung Zumba talaga. <laughs> so, we're hoping for, uh, we're hoping for November. Um, pero most probably mag- we're gonna have our events sa Subic kasi that's the place na lagi namang siyang you know controlled naman yung uh, yung yung classifications ang hirap dito sa NCR eh. ang hirap talaga <laughs> so ano yan sir uh, i-extend ko yung tanong ano yung event natin dyan um, for title fight paano yung mga ilan yung mga lalaro mga ganun po kung sakali po sir makuha natin yung ibang details sir Okay, um, for, for the URCC, when every time we put on a show, we need a complete lineup. Yan. We have 10 fights, we have different belts at stake. And then, the uh, challenge lang natin doon is being able to fly in foreigners na wala nang quarantine. Because if we make them fly in, we 10 days, right? Because in the other countries, for example, so Japan and Russia, you go inside, wala nang quarantine, quarantine, diretso ka na. So we're hoping na, you know, of course, uh, si Chairman Mitra was always very, very supportive of all of the professional sports under his gu- uh, guidance will be able to help us in that regard. Kasi sayang eh, kasi kung Pinoy sa Pinoy naman, it parang, I mean, it's nice to watch kasi if you're low levels, pero marami na dyan, higher levels, you want to see our, our countrymen going against foreigners. Big name, big name, sir. Meron ba tayong big names dyan? I'm sorry, sorry. May mga mal- malalaking pangalan ba tayong galaban sa sa event sa November? Ah uh, yes, okay, of course. Uh, we have uh, si Hoffman Sara. When Hoff- Chris Hoffman comes in, that's the best Filipino fighter in MMA we have. Uh, once he's, you know, once we can continue, he can showcase his skills for our country. He's one of the few Filipinos who can really excel on the world stage. When I say world stage, I mean talaga sa US you know, around the world. That's talagang yan yung, ano, he's one of, yan yung talagang manok natin. Yes, sir. Last and final question. Promise, last na po ito. Um, ano po masasabi nyo dun sa, ano, sa, syempre, alam ko, galing sa inyo si, ano eh, galing sa inyo si Sambuanga, yung lalaki, si, uh, si Drex. Okay. Former, ano natin, fighter Drex, natin yeah. sa, uh, former fighter natin sa URCC. Si Dennis ba galing sa inyo or hindi naman ah? Oh? Nagaling daw ba sa iyo or uh, she fought sa mga Yeah, we we gave her her first few fights dito sa sa when we were when we were doing events and pag mm. sa URCC fight night. Mm, yan. Yeah. Coach, uh, sir, ano masasabi niyo dun sa bagong system ng uh, one championship, yung scoring nila? Kasi ano eh, uh, magulo, nakakalito. Maraming maraming fans, marami ang na, na ano na na naguguluhan. Bakit ganoon yung scoring nila? Kung bakit dapat si Sambuanga panalo? Uh, sa tingin mo pa panalo dapat si Sambuanga ron? And last time dapat ba panalo dapat si Christian Lidon? Anong masasabi mo okay. sa scoring ng one? Anong take niya po rito? Okay. Actually, hindi ko pinapanood yun yung, yung one, ano? Uh, what do you call that? Uh, we taught those guys how to uh, promote, actually, no? Uh, we had a partnership and everything. But anyway, uh, tungkol sa mga ganyan, the promoter should never be involved in any in any decisions. Okay? So, 
nangyari yan before pag ayaw nila yung 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 decision nagkikialam sila di ba so there's a lot of other things i can say but the mere fact is like this uh when you have a promotion you have to do it fairly and properly hindi yung kusino tingin mo mas marketable so also yung uh the sanctity and the integrity of the sport is always at stake. Madali lang isang isang gagong promoter lang mag yung yung interferes, it can you know break everything worldwide. So I hope that they don't take that extra step na you know para lang may sumikat na iba, mas marketable, mas maganda, mas maganda tingnan sa camera. Tapos yan ipapanalo nila just for the sake of, 'di ba? Um We've seen that in other promotions na wala. So if they're gonna start that, sana man hindi. And sana not at the expense of our countrymen. Uh, you know, we have very, very little opportunities here. And then when they get there, they work really, really hard. Pero panakita ko na, you know, just because the other person's more marketable, tas gagaguhin yung sa judges or whatever, hindi tama yun. Um, the scoring system, paka na lang nila yun. Wala naman silang Game and Amusement Board. Eh. The Game and Amusement Board is the one who guides us. The scoring system in Singapore, kasi wala naman silang wala naman silang game and amusement board. Uh, actually, lat na yan before uh, kinuwan nila yan sa akin. Dito mga rules nila <laughs> ako pa nagturo sa mga yan. So what do you call that? Uh, what did they do with the responsibility and the knowledge we give? Hindi na natin kasalanan yan, de ba? I just hope that in the future this never happens to any other Filipino fighter again. Uh, lagi natin nakita we always get the short end of the stick, especially. Uh, now that we're coming up, if they say mas maganda, mas marketable, so ito na lang ipapromote natin, huwag na yung Pinoy, kasi yung Pinoy naman, di naman gumagasta sa pay-per-view. Uh, you know, pangit tignan. And, uh, you know, ganito talaga, we're a third world country. We can't, we cannot allow, we can't allow um, bubangsak tayo because of that. And totoo naman kasi, yung, yung, yung Pinoy, hindi naman, yun ang the worst market sa pay-per-view, kasi ang unang ano natin eh, pag may event, ano yung live stream, ano yung free stream? <laughs> diba? Ganun ka agad sa utak. Sa ibang bansa kasi, ano talaga nagbabayad dyan? Tayo, ano? Mga ano pa yung stream po? Eh, send mo sa akin yung link. Diba? Ganun tayo. It's in our culture. Diba? Sa DVD pa lang, yung mga fake DVDs, ganun. Yeah. Hanggang ngayon, I mean, diba? It, 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 <laughs> it translates. So, yun yung nangyari. And uh, naging victim yung mga fighters natin. But uh, eventually, like we've said, the Philippines has arrived in the realm of combat sports. Tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. Um, we've already had our first wave. They've done really, really well. And then now that we have our other generations coming up, um, mas lalawak and mas magiging, mas maalayang marating ng mga Filipino combat athletes. Yun. Thank you, Coach. Ramdam ko yung hirit mo dun, ah. So, pero okay lang. Sige. Ramdam ko yung history mo sa ano, eh. So, one, eh. Kaya talagang alam natin, nakwento mo na dati. So, yun. Thank you, Coach. Oh. Marami po sa ship. Coach, thank you, thank you. Marami po salamat. Boss Ernest. Thank you, marami po salamat. Sige, medyo pagpagaang naman natin yung ano, yung konting yung discussion, no? Patanungin natin si Idol, Dennis Eroa from Hacienda Eroa. <laughs> salamat. Uh, Naril. Boss Dennis, na-mute nyo yung ano nyo, yung mic nyo. Oo. Ayan, ah, okay, okay na. Uh, I'm okay glad po. To, I'm glad to see Alvin na uh, nakita ko kasi yung paghihirap niya dito eh. Na itaguyod ang sports. Ito na nang pagsubok si Alvin eh. Yung una pa nating nakilala. But I'm glad to see sports. Okay, no? Bababa lang ako ng konti, coach no? Tungkol sa SEA Games. Sa Vietnam. Ano bang tingin mo ron? At ito bang mga bata na actually who strikes me na student athlete talaga eh, nag-aaral eh, na napakaganda naman nun. Pwede na bang isabak sa SEA Games sa mga to? Uh, in the next edition of SEA Games, pwede na sila lumaban. Ngayon, hindi pa pwede. Uh, they're all under 18. Actually, um, yung competition na to for 16 and 17 year olds. Si Dave, si Dave at saka si Lucky, uh, underage sila. Binigyan na lang sila ng special permit para lumaban. Yung isa kong anak, hindi rin pinayagan lumaban kasi 13 pa lang siya. I wanted him to fight the 17 year olds, kaya naman. But si Dave and si Lucas stepped up. 15 pa lang yung dalawa na yan, pero kalaban nila 17 year olds. 
Kaya nagtataka yung mga tao, bakit yung kalaban nyo, balbasirado, yung, yung balbas nila pang ninong sa kasal, tapos, alam mo yan, <laughs> nakalaban nila. Pero, ayun, um, they all stopped up. Nagmedaya pa rin. Nagmedaya pa rin. <laughs> Ma- matanong ko lang, ano, kunting detalye lang, sino ang kasama sa coaching staff? Okay, uh, sa coaching staff, ang pumunta sa Russia uh, hmm. was uh, Maybelline Masuda, And then si Zoni, the father of uh, of David. Si Zoni takes care of our programs in Iloilo naman. So si his his son is one of the best now in the country, and of course now best one of the best in the world. So uh, we produced him from our grassroots movement uh, under the leadership of his father. Ah, uh, ba magbigay ng prediction sa Vietnam Sea Games? Ah, uh, Vietnam Sea Games. Oh. Eh, kung may grappling, lahat ng medal natin yun. <laughs> Kasi ano, kasalanan ng mga ito kung natalo sila. But uh, no, for wrestling, uh, uh, we can get at least 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 5 golds. Uh, that's good. Enough. Anyway, last question na lang kasi medyo technical. Ano ba yung, yung alam namin na wrestling, pagkakaiba ng grappling sa yung traditional na wrestling natin dito? Ano ba ang dito? Okay. Okay, ang, ang difference is, uh, to ang wrestling, the goal is basically to take down the person and pin them. Their back is on the mat. Sa grappling, uh, of course, it's also to take the person down, pero pagdating sa ground, may submissions. So you can you, you can submit the guy, look for a submission hold, and of course, may points yung ibang positions. So yun yung difference. Uh, yung grappling kasi, uh, one round lang yun at five minutes. Ang sinasabi ko sa tao, parang jiu-jitsu yan. Ha? Ganun. Actually, yung grappling is a hybrid style of all, of everything. But, um, we welcome everybody. There's judo aspects, sambo aspects, wrestling aspects for the takedowns. Pagdating sa baba, ganun din. The judo is there. The jiu-jitsu is there. The sambo is there. So basically, lahat ng rules ng all grappling styles that are accepted, pinagsama-sama as grappling. So that's why it's now practiced as a regular sport under the UWW. And uh, here we are. We're we have uh, world class uh, players finally ako nga pero itong mga grappler natin na nagbigay ng karangalan they can easily maka sa wrestling uh, yes actually okay uh, they they actually all also compete in wrestling si fierce mm-hmm. compete in wrestling uh, abe si luki my son lucho have all competed in wrestling i think wakin you've also competed in wrestling right Yeah, see? So everybody, everybody's competed in wrestling. So, pwede sa mag-cross over anytime. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Okay, Sir Alvin, mukhang ano, naubusan na yung mga tanong dito. <laughs> Wala. <laughs> anyway, ano, Sir Alvin, pag-aayin ko lang ng konti. No? Since uh, you're also an mm-hmm. MMA promoter, no? and... Uh, Uh, with what's happening to UFC right now, uh, na-imagine mo ba yung sakit ng ulo ni Dana White? <laughs> Oo, grabe. Kasi ito si John Jones kasi. Um, ito yung assessment ko kasi sa kanya. Um, he's so talented. R- ridiculously talented. So he doesn't have to work as hard as everybody else. And then everything becomes, you know, when, when nakikita mo sa cage, yung sa Utes brothers who are also pro football players, Nasa dugo nila yung being athletic. So, he shines so well. And even if he's not that good technically, he always beats his opponents. So, if something comes that easy, you don't have to work exactly that hard. Medyo okay lang sa kanya na pumaparty, doing extra things. Actually, for example, si John Jones that Pumunta yung WADA kasi he was suspected before of doing steroids. So, pumunta yung WADA sa gym niya. Random test. Ang ginawa niya, nagtago siya sa ilalim ng cage habang nandun sa gym. So yung Wada, where's John Jones? Wala. <laughs> Tago siya sa ilalim ng cage. So he finds himself in these situations kasi, you know, parang lala sa kanya. He doesn't have to work that hard. You know, he works hard but, you know, not as hard as the next guy kasi he's just so talented. And of course, um, being in Vegas, kasi of course that's the party capital of the world, sikat ka and everything, he still doesn't have that discipline. Kaya si Dana White, imagine, your marquee fighter you're building him up and everything tapos ayan na naman magkakalat na naman diba uh, 
Ramdam mo yung gigil niya habang in-interview eh. No? Ramdam mo yung oh. gigil niya. <laughs> Kasi, you know, si Dana White had to pull a lot of strings sa Vegas. Dapat, actually, if you think about it, dapat kulong for at least 15, 20 years si John Jones sa ginawa niya last time. Isipin mo, ha? Uh, pregnant lady yun. Tapos, uh, he ran away from the scene of the crime. Tapos, may nakitang droga at saka baril sa kotse. Di ba? I mean, sa Philippines, baka maayos mo yun. Pero sa Vegas, to be able to pull strings, hindi ka makulong. Ibang klase yun. Di ba? So, of course, Vegas was also taking into consideration the loss of revenue of everybody else pag nakulong siya. So, yun. Ayun nga, Alvin. Eh, kumbaga, not just John Jones. No? Kumbaga, yung managing all those egos in one organization, di ba? Yung yes. UFC, no? No, mm-hmm. kumbaga, URCC, I know you have some yung internal things as well. No? Pero mm-hmm. uh, yung UFC, it's it's the world's best fighters that you're handling. And kaya siguro na, 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 napabilis yung buhok ni, ano, ni Dana White. Well, 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 well I'm, I'm very lucky in that regard. So URCC, what do you call that? The current batch of uh, URCC fighters, lahat yan mababait. Yung management nila, coaches nila mababait. Um, you know, it's well before we had fighters na isa dalawang panalo pa lang kala mo siya na si you know <laughs> feeling artista na but um, now we have very good we have very good uh, people I'm blessed that way uh, so yeah, just like you said so UFC ang hirap niyan eh because you're managing egos si mo kahit saan sila pumunta the whole world everybody knows them they're paid so high and then uh, ang nangyari kasi sa UFC is pag ito yung kinikita nila humahabo din yung ego minsan lumalampas pa and it's very hard to keep them in check. Very, very hard to keep them in check. Especially once they make money. Because ang daming nakapulupod sa kanilang tao. Telling them na napakagaling nila. And no one brings them, you know, brings them back to earth. So ang hirap, ang hirap na hirap yan si Dana White to control them. Even if he has all the money. There's the only way he can control them even more is by giving them even more money. Then just lalaki na naman yung ulo, di ba? So um, that's a very, very hard position Dana White is in. People think na ang dilin ang ginagawa niya. Hindi, ang hirap doon. I can just imagine. And saka hindi lang si John Jones yung makulit dyan. Ang daming makulit dyan. Uh, I know a lot of inside stories. Um, yung mga steroid use, the drug use, the parties and everything. And that's 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 a fact of it because when you become that level, these things all happen. So it's very very hard for him to be able to monitor and control all of that. Okay, Alvin, ito na. No, uh, I think I want to na But uh, uh, nung pandemic, uh, one of one URCC fighter fought, uh, and ang apelido pa ng nakalaban niya Norma Gomedov. No? So <laughs> si Mark Striegel. Uh, what do you think of uh, what happened there? No, at uh, uh, did he rush to too much? Kulang ba siya sa training? What What do you think happened to Mark? Okay, what, well, it's like this. Uh, here in the Philippines, uh, like I said, no, yung kulang natin would be training partners. So, si Mark had to be around other Mark Striegels. Okay, kasi, like, for example, ang katraining ni Mark, was it naman, ilan lang ang tao? One or two guys at his level or, you know, not really, not really competitive people. So you have to be around people na inuupakan ka para humahabol ka. It cannot be ikaw yung laging bida sa, sa gym, no? And another thing is, of course, the, the, uh, the weight cut and the nerves. Um, a lot of the factors there was, of course, again, if you go back, a lot of the fighters in other countries, before they become pros, have at least 20 to 30 amateur fights before they become pros. So we go back again to the next generation. Ganon kayo dapat before you get to the pros. See, Mark is a very, very good guy, very, very talented. He works very hard, harder than most. But uh, yun nga, the guy had more experience that way. He comes from a tradition of people na talagang inuupakan siya. So see, Mark had to be around an environment where you had other Mark Striegels na ginugulpi siya araw-araw. At least 10 of those. Kasi yung kalaban niya, ganon ang training camp nun. Ang kalaban niya had at least 20 people na kaya siya upakan every day. So he, that guy really had to strive. Eh, si Mark, siya rin bida sa gym niya eh. So, di ba? It has to be, you know, you're around people who can really push you. So, yun lang. Um, we're hoping to change all of that very soon with what we're doing sa PMAF right now. Um, I, I, uh, we have a lot of online programs. We have a lot of physical programs as well. But uh, uh, we have to change that culture. And then, yeah, and I'm sure Mark will be back. Um, you know, 
one second ka lang magkamali dyan, or half a second that can determine everything. What happened was uh, when Mark shot in, I think, as I remember it, he wanted to shoot in, but then, um, paano ba yan? I think he hesitated. Then bilang go pa rin. Then, oh, parang, parang he wanted to go in, but stop and he went in again. So, and yung kalaban niya was so relaxed. Nakita mo yung shoulders yeah. ng kalaban niya. Hindi man na nakagalan, talagang nag-aantay lang. So, as soon as he came in, boom. Yan na. That's, that's how it started. Kung baga sa, ano kasi, sa local MMA, nagtitimplahan pa yan sa first round. Eto, alam na nila eh. No, yung, uh, yeah. Wala nang timplahan yan eh. No, mm-hmm. that's how good a UFC fighter is eh. No, talagang the best crop of fighters in the world. No, anyway, Gerard, meron kang gustong itatong, itanong? Ayun, may follow up lang ako. Dalawang tanong lang with regards to wrestling tsaka sa MMA. Yung first coach kasi, um, meron na tayong Olympic gold medalist eh. eh knowing na ang wrestling matagal na talaga sa Olympics. Uh, do we see or meron ba tayo na athlete? Sabi nyo, ito si... Ariana Gra- Grande, uh, uh, yun, Scarpio. Um, is she going, ano, parang, pwede pa siya maging parang next um, Heidi Lindias o meron ba tayong chance na kakuha ng parang next Heidi Lindias sa wrestling? Yes, uh, his name is uh, uh, Alan Arcelia. So he he was accepted into the Olympic Solidarity Program. Uh, nung lumaban siya sa Thailand when he was uh, a cadet, he beat everybody and an absolute champion, he beat everybody. So, ang ginawa, pinalaban siya sa junior and he still beat everybody there undefeated. Kahit yung mga tiga Vietnam, kilala na siya, bata pa lang. They know that the kid has, you know, you look into his eyes, he has the talent and everything. And now that uh, Kong Bumble helped us to let him get into the uh, Olympic Solidarity Program, the sky's the limit for that kid. Uh, I'm predicting it now, Shane, next Olympic gold in wrestling. Oh, mabigat na statement yan, sir. <laughs> Talaga ka na yan, ha? Kasi, Next, his, his, oh, parents, oh. his parents are behind him also. So, when you're a kid, number one yan, eh. um, the, the unit around the kids has to be all-out support. If I, I'm just going to share right now. All of these guys, their parents are all around him. If you go to, look at Joaquin's father, si Dr. Uh, Dr. Marte, every time Joaquin is training, his father is there every time. Okay? Si... Uh, David also, his father is his coach, okay? His father's always there in training. Si, uh, si Abe, okay? Si Fier, every time he competes, his mom is there. So, talagang, it's very important that you have the support of your parents. The, the parents can make or break the athlete. I've seen it so many times sa mga kids. Meron namang ibang mga nanay o tatay na, ang hirap naman ng training. Ayoko na yan. Pero gusto nila maging champion pa rin yung anak nila. There's others naman na nanay o tatay, nag internet Dapat pala ito yung ginagawa ninyo. Oh my God. So, nasisira naman yung training ng, ng bata. So, um, the parents can make or break the athletes. So, very, very important. That's another thing we look at, especially when you go to kid athletes. Na dapat na doon yung suporta ng parents. They have to be there to guide them and uh, not push them too much. Uh, sorry, another thing pala. There's another another type of parent naman na Hama nagte-train, sila yung naninigaw sa sa mga athlete, hindi naman pa pwede 'yon, 'di ba? So, hindi <laughs> mo may coach na pero siya yung sumisigaw. So, we have to, you know, for parents out there, um uh what's this? Trust your coaches and always support your athlete or your son, your your kids. Diba? And then then that's when things can flow. Uh don't try to impose what you want because it'll never happen. It has to be what they want. It has to come from the heart of your children. Okay, it comes from their heart and then your guidance is there and you have good coaches, sky's the limit of what they can achieve. Coach, I'm going to call Arcelia. What's the first name? Alan Arcelia. Where is she, Coach? Alan Arcelia. From Manila. From Manila. Actually, she's a champion in the US. What's the name of this? Is she still alive? Yeah, he's 17 right now. So, what do you call that? Next... Next, next SEA Games, Woody Kalan Janayan, and he'll be excelling for all of us. Anong weight nito, Coach? Saka anong, ano yan, uh, Roman? Greco ba siya or freestyle? Uh, sa freestyle siya. Sa freestyle. Ano pong weight na, sir? Uh, he's in the lightest weight. So, nasa 60 pa siya ngayon. So, as of course, as he grows up, it will go up. But, uh, I think he can stay there because he's not that big, pero he's very, very good and his heart is very big as well. Yun, sige, sige. Ito, last question, sir. 
Kasi may babo lang ano ang UFC. Kayo ba wala kay ng yung URC si wala kayong planong bubble. Ah, uh, camp katulad ng sa parang sa Apex sa uh, UFC mga ganung klase dito, coach. Uh, the only bubble we can get is pag may event tayo because ang dami niyan. We, if we have 10 fight, if you have 10 fights, that's 20 different camps. So ang hirap i-coordinate na no? of course yung budget natin for that. Uh, if we pay for their camp, wala tayong pambayad para sa mga fighters, diba? So um, so we can only do an overnight bubble uh, for for the event itself. Boss Alvin, yes, baka bigyan nyo na lang ng ano, certificate of appreciation pag nanalo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alam mo yun. Alam mo yun. Alam mo yun. Ha? Alam mo yun. <laughs> Ayan, ayan na lang sa'yo. Ayan. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> alam mo yun po sa Alvin yan. Alam mo yun po sa Alvin yan. <laughs> certificate. Basta, basta, ano sabi mo, dalawa naman yung pirman ito, hindi lang isa. <laughs> <laughs> yung isang medal na lang at saka certificate of pre- appreciation. <laughs> oh, ganun na lang. Bigyan mo na lang kahit may ni trophy, mga ganun lang. <laughs> Ayan, Coach Alvin, thank you po. Maraming po salamat thank sir. Thank you sir, thank you sir. Okay, you, okay. You, uh, te- bago lahat, no, uh, before ipasa natin yung ano, uh, let us have our uh, group photo for the week. Ba- baka pwede we can ask our uh, mga sumali sa ating conference ko- uh, ngayon to on our... <laughs> Uh, on our yung mga ano natin mga cameras natin okay tech genesis pa pakuha okay and one two three smile po tayo okay at dyan po nagtatapos ang tabs usapang sports para sa linggong ito ipapasok ko na po ang uh, presede sa ang mikropono le sa ating presidente for our final remarks sir ed Yes, uh, okay. Thank you, uh, Ernest. No, uh, maybe we can ask si Sir Alvin kung ano pa ang mga uh, messages para sa, sa wrestling at sa mga supporters na rin ng wrestling dito sa atin. Uh, Sir Alvin, uh, thank you for joining us and your, your final uh, remarks po. Teka, na, na, na ano yata, na-freeze yata si Sir Alvin. Sir Ed. Okay. Uh, so, while waiting for Sir, Sir Alvin, siguro one of the boys can can uh, say say his final remarks para on behalf of the group. Uh, uh, si Di ba pwedeng magsalita for the, for the group para pasasalamat na rin sa mga naging uh, sponsors niyo dito sa nakalipas na World Grappling Championships. Maybe si si Joaquin can can uh, say something uh, on behalf of the group. Oh, that's a good one. So uh, we j- we'd like to thank uh, everyone here for having us on the program for this morning. And aside from that, um, we'd like to thank all of our and uh, um, the people who've shown their support and you know helped us uh, achieve what we we've, we've had um, in the Nakalipas sa competition natin. So of course. Um, we'd like to thank and see Chief Adan Aguilar, see Prof Maybelline Masuda, um, Coach, um, what do you call this? Coach, uh, Coach Mike Tabamo, um, Coach Melcher Tomasis, Coach Carla Magna Panta, uh, Prof Franco Lirado, Prof Richard, uh, Richard Lesperlia, uh, Coach Jerome Lapita, and Coach Lester, the other Coach Zoni, and Coach uh, Arthur Mori, um. Aside from those, uh, our coach, uh, our teammates, and uh, uh, teammates from Defta, um, Martina, Defta Calabang, Defta Pahati, Defta Rock, uh, Rockwell, um, and to everyone else who uh, helped us with the ano, um, our teammates from the Wrestling Association of the Philippines. Ayan, thank you very much, um, coaches uh, Reyes and Coach Jam. Uh, Coach Francis Tapia, Coach Paulo, um, and who else? To uh, the follow people who made sure we could make it to Russia and back, and who, those who pledged their financial support. So, special thanks to Miss uh, Jenny Mamor, uh, Congressman uh, Bumble Tolentino, um, Pagor, 
and ayun. So thank you very much again for thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you and, and and again a congratulations uh, to the team. Uh, Sir Alvin, maybe your uh, final message. Uh, salamat na din sa mga sumuporta sa team uh, na uh, pag-uwi ng karangalan from Russia. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody who helped us. Uh, uh, we have Pagkor, of course, Kong Bumble, our POC president. Um, we have Jenny Mumar, uh, Kong Bong Tevez, and then our coaches, uh, Coach Mike Tabamo, Coach Lester Del Rosario, uh, of course, my better half, uh, Coach uh, Maybelline Masuda, who's here also as well. Um, what's this? Uh, everybody at DevTac. We had uh, uh, Coach Arthur Mori, who helped us out as well. Uh, co- our our sec gen, Marcos Valda. Uh, we have our training partners, Jam Cantos. And there were so many people who helped us out from DevTac Marikina. We love you guys. Thank you so much for sacrificing, being there, aspiring partners. You know, grabbing, you know, whatever the kids were going through, they were also going through Pumupunta Sila Doon just to help us out in training. Um, we had uh, we had so many people who came out also. We have our uh, coach, Franco Rulliada, who also came out to help. We had, yeah, uh, coach Jerome Lepiten. We had uh, Coach Richard Lasprilia. We had so many people who, like I said, came out to help. Thank you very much. And hopefully for everybody else, for all the schools, um, you know, please continue to help and uh help and support our team and uh the sport as well because uh this is a sport like i said that we're not just can excel we're already excelling in this and this is just the start um the only reason why we only had these medals now is because this is the only time we were able to get uh enough money to be able to go but if we had uh enough money we had enough support we will be doing this at least five times a year every competition that we can bring in we will get medals and we'll bring home champions so again, thank you to everybody. Uh, of course, the tops. Thank you, Manga Sir, for always helping us, uh, um, you know, spread awareness for what for our for our sport. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sir Alvin, and again, a congratulations uh, sa team for bringing home uh, medals from the World Grappling Championships in in Russia. And we hope we can invite you again uh, before the IMBAT. Uh, yes, sir. Year. So I might. Uh, Sir, can we get a picture na rin? Ayan, isa pang picture daw. Isa pang picture. Okay, okay. Uh, abe, make sure you, hindi ka, hindi ka kita ma, Abe. Ayan, okay. Uh, smile. Sige, smile tayo. Again, teka lang ha. Smile. Mga susama. One. Picture, go, go, go. Wait lang daw. Smile. Okay. There we go. Yon. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, uh, Ernest, uh, again, on behalf of the officers and members of TAPS and our sponsors, the Philippine Sports Commission, the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, and the Games and Amusements Board, uh, magpapasalamat kami sa mga naging panawihin namin ngayong umaga. And again, we are inviting you na samahan kami sa susunod na edition ng TAPS Usapang Sports on Air. Uh, Ernest, uh, back to you. At uh, dyan po nagtatapos ang uh, TAPS Usapang Sports ngayong linggo nito. Please do like our page para malaman nyo kung sino yung susunod namin mga panauhin. At uh, sa, kung nasa YouTube kayo, please do subscribe para um, pwede nyo rin mapanood doon ang uh, TAPS Usapang Sports. At uh, with that, kami po, ako po si Ernest Hernandez ang naging moderator para sa araw na to. And in behalf of TAPS Usapang uh, TAPS, the, or- the entire organization, Ang uh, hiling nang namin sa lahat and uh, wish namin is just to stay safe and God bless. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.